The Seventh-day Adventist Church presents Encounter with Truth with God's servant, Pastor Dr. Andrews Lawrence Ewu, an international evangelist. Christianity is about eternal life, salvation in Jesus Christ. Christianity gives you hope, and the hope is the soon coming of Jesus Christ. He is coming for you. That is my hope. This world is passing away. Behold, he comes with the clouds, and every eye will see him. Search the scriptures, and when you search the scriptures, you will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. praise you the Lord for your goodness and for your love and my brothers and sisters I greet you all in the name of our wonderful friend Jesus Christ our Lord may the blessings of God be upon you thank you so much for allowing me to come to your home it's a privilege to listen to the word of God I pray for me and your prosperity this is about salvation because Jesus died to save you. So I'm continuing with the series, Three Doors of Salvation. What are they? You have to know. Eponomi and sa, eduko unkwa jemu. Ayadiye hiya, uwe hiya, uji na ponomi ya chi. Ana webi yo oponomi. As I say, urade buwao, na ote masiye inti. Ya asuna tia me. Oduma nkuma me dawase. Kwa nye me nyame no ma ebe kasa. Take me out of flesh and put me into spirit. It's always my request. Because without you I can do nothing. May your presence be with me. Help me to articulate. May your children hear your sweet voice. Not my sinful voice. It's my prayer in the wonderful name of my friend and savior. Jesus Christ. Amen. Three doors of salvation. What are those doors? And you have to make a choice which of the doors you want to be in. I'm reading from Luke chapter 13, verses 23 to 30. Luke 13, 23 to 30. Someone asked the Lord, are there few that will be saved? Listen to the question very carefully. This is about salvation. And he said unto them, strive. Make an effort to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up and hath shut to the door, and you begin to stand outside and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not where you are coming from. Then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, 
I tell you, I know you not whence you are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. Into the one, you mean a beside yes, you say. So one will be young, one is so an hour. Yes, I can say yes or no. No mum or to answer parable. Or some mum pray some mum be shine upon a hint. Tianumo. No nipper be brave, but press a be rumo, and so in to me rumo. Oh, grace is available, but not everybody will be saved. That is what Jesus is saying. And when the master shuts the door, you will stand outside and knock. A brave be bar, the door of grace is moved to. Probation will close. Inti adum niho biyum. Opa bwan ho chewa enye biyum, enye ye biyum. O sakra wa junya enye ye biyum. If senyamiya ma o sufficient time, but you didn't take advantage of it. Inti ane gate ye buye yi. It's a huge gate. A buye yi. But more than na shen mo. And tisa, it will be too late for you. Uba can say, we have eaten and drunk in thy presence. And when a radia didi, yes, you have gone to communion service. You have done all those things that every Christian should do. But still, you were not saved. Why? Why were you not saved? Because you were practicing iniquity. Iniquity means something you know to be wrong. Something you know God doesn't like. Yet you are doing it. When in pass a dear way, a way, Yamasi Uchiri, but would in Yamasuma Cata when him in a weary de sa and some moneno. A radius say, Macancho say, I don't know you. You don't want to hear this from the lips of Jesus Christ. Yes, pa the the, the, the embodiment of grace, no cancho say, I never knew you. A bayah your host sum. A bayah your host verse 28. He says, There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and you yourselves trust outside the gate and they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God and behold there are last that shall be first and there are first which shall be last. He was talking to the Pharisees and the Jews. Moshe, you and the Gentiles, they will come from the east and west and north and south. In Timunya, very careful. So I'm talking to you, my elder. I'm talking to you, young man. I'm talking to you, my ladies. Be very careful because salvation door is open now. And now is the time for you to take advantage of this great privilege given to us by God. Titus chapter 2, Titus 2, 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Did you understand? Did you hear what Paul is saying? Grace, what is the meaning of grace? It teaches us to deny ungodliness and worldly loss. And we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Oh, I don't want to say, but I don't want to say, Yeah, dear, a tenny. Yeah, dear, a tenny. Now, Kakrebi, Nabayasa, and Tino say, One of my shas, you know, that is Judaism. One of my huni, I'm a first, you know, that is Judaism. And now, so one of poor. In the Christian church, eh, Gentiles, yeah, we who are sorry, ni a yem penny forty say Peter no mono. Ya nye careful la Mary Madeline number baby try na uwa yam kwa ye yam kwa. Jesus repeated the same answer in Matthew chapter seven. Matthew chapter seven verses thirteen to twenty four. Matthew seven thirteen to twenty four. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. 
beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, by a, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth for not for good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. He has repeated the same thing he said in Luke. Mushe ye ne punun ye mienu ketua bakun na kasia bakunu. Kasinubia na mwaya yamusum eye yamusum that is cheap grace. Utimi no monsa, utimi bo jomai, utimi bo krono, utimi ye hoda, utimi ye. Taker, you are not a giver. What you mean, be bear or pass away? But a big view, bon summit demo. In tears, you say, when you're very careful, no more upon here, here no more, upon here, 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 a door of discipline. Eh? You are disciplined. You keep the commandments of God. And that disciplines your life. You are under the influence of the Holy Spirit. So we have the doors. The first open door of salvation to all is found in Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. Matthew 25, verses 1 to 13. Listen very carefully. This is the first door, a door of salvation to all, a door of grace, a great door, a wide door of grace. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lambs, and went forth to meet the bridegroom. The bridegroom is Jesus Christ. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lambs, and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lambs. While the bride, bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lambs. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lambs are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, It's not possible, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready, they that were ready, went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I don't know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Another door of grace, the story of the ten virgins. Ubiya Krakania, Ubiya Oyer Wom, but Ubiya Oyer Nusra, Ubiya Nusra Oyer No Adosu, Ubiya Dai, I say a normal, into Ubiya the Da. Until say Bruno Sunya, as you be sorry. Almost sorry, you know, in num one can you know a doom or your name, in num one can you know a shrine. What is the meaning of that? I'm going to tell you the meaning. Now, why are very careful, very, very careful? The open door of grace. You can be under grace and be lost. Look at this picture. Look at all ten of them. Everybody is ready to meet the bridegroom. 
as you for Catholic, for Presbyterians, Pentecostals, uh, Anglicans. Obi aye ready say or chen Yesu maya etosumienu. Obi aye ready say Yesu ba ono no be kosoro. Obi aye ready. You can tell Obi aye ready. Obi a siyesi no ho kama. Obi a siyesi no ho kama. All ten were virgins. What is the meaning of that virginity? And let the Bible explain. Second Corinthians 11, 1 and 2. And there the Bible says, I'm going to tell you something that sounds stupid, but forgive me and listen. Would to God you could hear, bear me, bear with me a little in my folly. And in the deed, indeed, bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. That is what grace can do. It can turn a sinner into a righteous person. How did it happen? Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. On the day when you accepted Jesus and you were baptized, God gave you the Holy Spirit to make you clean. So you had a secondary virginity. You are a brand new person. So all the ten of them were virgins. All ten had lamps. Lamps in the Jinaho Menyamiasem. Psalm 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. What some of you are going to say, 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 all ten were pure Bible believers. What do you want to say, Jesus Christ, they are Bible believers. All had Bible and preachers. One more software can yami asem. One can grace Adam in Shira and so forth. Salvation, what's a salvation? Etchira one. All of them went to meet the bridegroom. They had this open invitation. Yamusum yanshobia waraopa ena oba. All ten of them. All ten of them were Christians. They were Christians who had accepted Jesus Christ, worshiping Him every Sunday, every Saturday. All were waiting for Christ's second coming. Will be a train say, Yesu Ababiam. All in Christian churches, as ye Pentecostals, Catholics, Presbyterians, and so forth and so on. All of them, woman Yabusum Song for all the ten virgins. All had the same gospel message. Will be a to Yesu Huasam. They had the good news about salvation. All of them were Adventists. When I'm talking about Adventists, I'm not talking about Seventh-day Adventists. No. An Adventist is somebody who is preparing to wait for the second coming of Jesus. Into we are Presby new, we are Catholic new, we are Pentecost new. So when it does, I want to train Yeshua, we are Adventists. All prepared themselves for this special wedding, which will take place in heaven, as recorded in Revelation chapter 19. Our ye be because of who into one one came yamiasem one one came by bono who say yes so baby I'm a fine John fourteen one two three let not your heart be troubled ye believe in God believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am. There you may be also. All lamps were burning before. They are all church goers. That is the meaning. But five of them had their lamps go out. A Christopher, you, know, you could not be able to tell the difference. Or you are born again. Uhunipa or your fake. You don't you, you are, it's difficult to differentiate. Obia kwa, sorry, Sunday, Saturday, speaking in tongues, do with miracles. Obia a soft wina etia, sorry. They had Bibles. 
but they didn't have the Holy Spirit. They had another spirit. They are fake believers. Five of them were fake believers. The five foolish were without the Holy Spirit in Matthew chapter 25, verses 8 to 9. Matthew 25, 8 to 9. The Bible says they were without the Holy Spirit. No oil. No oil. Matthew 25, verses 8 and 9. Listen to how Matthew recorded it. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lambs are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, otherwise we won't have enough, but you go and buy. Hong Kong, Kong, see and tongue. The first time I'm kind of story, and I was thinking, so, oh, nothing I'm saying for me to more than more oil and no money and be in Nibia, money be. But I cheer me, I say, oh, you need your home, Hong Kong, Krono. Hong Kong, Krono is not transferable. I cannot give the Holy Spirit I have to you. I can't do that. It doesn't work. So five were having Bibles. They were going to church, but they were fake Christians. They didn't have the Holy Spirit in them. Five had the Holy Spirit in them, and they could not transfer that to uh, their friends who didn't have. Five wise virgins had the Holy Spirit. Look at the picture. You see how they are shining? They were shining for Christ. Matthew chapter 7, verses 16 to 21. Matthew 7, 16 to 21. The Bible says, Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs, of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. By their fruits, ye shall know them. You see them glowing. Because Jesus has said, when the Holy Spirit is in you, you shine. Shine. Let your light so shine before men. They are shining. One more shining. What made a difference? The five wise virgins, you know, they had the word of God. They read the word of God. No, Psalm 119 verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. They were doers of the word. They were convicted by their closeness to Christ by the word. They were converted by the Holy Spirit in their hearts. Fully converted. They were not hypocrites. They became connected to Christ, loving him. And that is what Jesus said in John 14, 23. If you love me, my father will love you. And we will come and make our abode with you. They were committed to go to the wedding feast with Christ in heaven. That was the difference. What about the five foolish virgins? Too late. A kachri. A kachri. They were in the church. They had a Bible, but they had no Holy Spirit. They were not born again. First Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 to 11. They would never make it in heaven. They were fake believers. Cheap grace is what they were doing. Partial conversion, not filled with the Holy Spirit. No connection with Christ. It's partial pregnancy, I would I will say. Aso on yum, answer on yum. Aso, why yum, my asso, asso on cron cron, so on yum, cron cron. And now your papa, or shall I know as you are saying? Ephesians 5 18. Paul is saying, be filled with the Holy Spirit. You know what they do? They grieve the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 4. Verses 30 and 32. Ephesians 4, 30 and 32. Listen to the caution here. 
and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Eh? They grieve the Holy Spirit by what? And to compare bitterness, akayo, bufuo, agobone, and konkonsa, and sekro. They grieve the Holy Spirit because on konkon non pesa, so they are lost. The door is shut. They cannot go in. It's too late. Can I ask you a question? Are you behind this door? Are you in the open door? The open door of grace. Are you using the word of God? Are you reading this book? Is the Holy Spirit in your life? Can people tell that you are bearing the fruits of the Holy Spirit? And show yes be close. And show the door will be closed. That will be the close of probation. And it will be too late. He will make the pronouncement in Revelation chapter 22, verses 11 and 12. He that is holy, let him be holy still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is unholy, let him be holy still. Behold, I come, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I read in Shirawo, Mr. So we are one of the five foolish virgins in one. Take a decision. Go back to the Bible and ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, the door will soon be closed. We have two more doors, and I will continue next Sunday. God be with you. I read it when you're mobile. When you're mobile, when you're doing sacred, and you're room in time, and I'm catching it, and I'm going with Jesus Christ in the name of you. Amen. Susan, do, 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 do,